Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. Right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. Hey, you guys want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say a peep. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa! Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. There's Bowski! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Spowski. God damn it. 
Jack. Jack, are you there? There's... There's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Edro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. Aiden. Ro has a transmitter. Locate it. It's our only chance. It's no time to mourn. You must find Ro. We'll get you help as soon as the elevators are back up. I'll do what I can. You were dead. They fucking wish. You'll pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. Oh, well, I will. The transmitter? Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't. Here. The transmitter. Aiden. Don't you think you should wait for that potato metal I promised you? What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Ah, our dog tags. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. Luan? Luan, I... I'm in trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. locked. I'm stuck here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry! The 30th floor. The infected. They... They blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank? Wait! Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there, and he needs you. He needs a coffin. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt.
Frank, I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to, and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple. But it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden. Upstairs. You have to go up one level. Yeah. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Right to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several for- Yes! <laughs> On a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump, and fly to the fisheye. See you there. Wait, what? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. What? No, no way, Luan. Luan?
Hanging, jumping, and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. I didn't ask her to come... I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You... you're where? On top of the building? <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will. After, uh, on, on your mission. Radio New Hope. Imagine messages of peace and unity. Bringing people together. Giving them hope. Yeah, well, I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say? Yeah. 
despite what the others said, I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. We could really activate this transmitter. The army used to control that tower. I have a transmitter here that can tap into their signal and take over their broadcast. So all we'd have to do is activate the sector antenna. I'm at the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch, and that's it. It worked! Juan gets what he wants, and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia. The truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? What? I'm wondering what kind of music you'd play on your radio station. Uh, don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. Juan, Aiden, what have you done? You'll hear soon enough, and let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank, you had the control of this antenna to that washed up drunk. I can't believe it. I'll take it back, I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden, and I thought we were becoming friends. Uh, sorry, Jack. I made my choice. Good day, Philidor. Frank is back, and I've got some more exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drinking water are being collected at the canteen. All those in need can report to Nicholas. Stay tuned, and I'll be back soon with another message of hope. Meanwhile, enjoy the music. You made it. Hey, it's good to see you too. Ugh. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, wh where did that come from? You owe me one. The soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. Shut up! <laughs> like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers, now? 
Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? The one. Uh, you said... Ah, uh, oh, shit. The <clears throat> one, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. So, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Cause you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? <sighs> See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climb the fucking TV station tower, you can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Hmm. It's a cozy place. boots Wow Luan who would have thought did you find them yet I'm sorry I, I don't see a red box anywhere you dope you're not looking hard enough there's another room behind the plywood Almost, almost happy. Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Do you still live here, or...? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Except for the 
shoes, that is. Vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. And Luan, I found your shoes. But it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hack on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. But bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Juan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Here, I got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? 
You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to. But don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Probably the other way around. I mean, pilgrims tend to be the love them and leave them type. Always on the move. You a love them and leave them type? I'm just pursuing my goal. Hmm. So, your constellation would be Orion, the hunter. Over there. <laughs> We're lucky to see him, because he's not there all year round. He comes and goes. Just like you, Pilgrim. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. It's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big, but when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. Hakon a coward? That's hard to believe. Maybe you're right. Maybe he's just a traitor. He talked others out of coming to the TV station too. They left Frank and his team on their own. Then he cut me off, like he never even knew me. And then he fucked off to Waltz. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. Good morning, Villador. It's a brand new day, a brand new world. This is your friend Frank broadcasting. Yes, that's right. Broadcasting from the fisheye. From now on, I'll be bringing you all the good news from around Villador, helping transform this city back into the community it once was. The one? The one, you there? Right, folks.
let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm, I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon. Luan, it's Aiden. Come in. Luan? Come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter, and now you go radio silent. City, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I... I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that jury place. You get it? That's why we have to find Matt Pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? With those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, it'll boost the signal and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable and you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now, the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. All right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Night runners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe about eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. 
and she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him, bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds, but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. She's built a mighty thick wall around herself. Can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. But you mean Hakon? You know him? Yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out, plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material. But he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bowed it, and with it, tore apart the night runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look, I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. What about Hakon killing Lucas? Hmm? That took some balls. Sure, but they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. That's true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Lawan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey, Frank? That's, uh, that's way up there. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake.
Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Gastagon and head east. Walls in. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street, just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more. Frank, I activated the second antenna. Renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who will help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep fucking over and out. Frank, I need to get to where they are. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Luan. I'll be in touch. was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Yeah. <laughs> 
Aiden, you all right? I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off, but the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE in old Velidor? I'll look into it. Well, who tried to tip you off? Well, that's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Lawan, too. Why do you think he knows anything about Lawan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So, if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more. And Hakon could be involved. What do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon. And she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runners special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors. Not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Um, self-control. This should be good. Don't laugh. We used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had a focus on mental and emotional strength. Not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important. But it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Aiden? Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. 
But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! <laughs> Make quite a name for yourself in this shit hole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. But you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <clears throat> Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time! Betrayed, Hakon. Killian, Frank, Lawan. Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? 
Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Walt. But he got suspicious. Threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. It's too late for us to You gotta die! Your nine lives are up, Aiden! Sorry, Icon. I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Icon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to old Villador Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes, and I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. We'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back. But I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? Uh, I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. The one? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, Luan. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? I know about the Night Runners. Frank told me. He spoke about balance and letting go. He's one to talk. But he has. And you could too. Can't you? The one. He said he wanted to protect you. What is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. 
but he had to stop because Walt threatened to hurt you. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! The one! This is bullshit! Get the fuck out of here. Y you sure? Go before I change my mind, you asshole. I'm sorry. How you feel? I don't know. I... I feel... relieved. Some peace. Finally, but... But I should have killed him. He was on my list. He's still on my list. And throw your list away. That list is my only purpose. It helped me keep going. Throw it away, Luan. You think you know me? Uh, Fuck you. Luan... Wait. Frank? Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. Yeah, uh, Look, a lot went down since we last spoke. Fuck. What happened? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And... You won't believe this, but... Luan was there, and... She let Hakon go. She what? Yeah. She destroyed her kill list. Save your shock for later, Frank. What about that doctor? Come to the fisheye, Aiden. I'll tell you everything. Us? Who's us? Hey, Frank? Come on, tell me. Always think she's still seeing us. Is this a private party or can anyone crash it? You've done a lot for the city, Aiden. For the night runners. There'll be one of us someday, Aiden. We'll make a decent runner, won't he, Lawan? Huh? Ah, oh, the best. But as for today, hey, everyone, I wanted to say something. Hey! Everybody, hey! Hey! Shut up, all of you! Frank's got something to say. By whatever authority remains in me, I hereby make Luan officially and forever a night runner. The fuck yes! Hey, get the fuck out! Oh, get him a beer! Frank? Uh, you mean... So, you're really bringing back the Night Runners? No, you're bringing them back. You and Aiden, in fact. You've already started. These old bastards are all former Night Runners. Who heard my broadcasts and came back? But you, you did them one better. You grew up. Uh, fuck you! See? The creed. If Hakon's alive, it means you learn to forgive. You found balance. That's what being a night runner is really all about. What about you, Frank? Do you forgive? Your timing always sucked, Hakon. Sometimes. But maybe not this time. I thought you could use this. Where'd that come from? I've kept it with me all along, Frank. So what will it be, Chief? If Luan can forgive you, 
I guess I have no choice. Not a ringing endorsement, but I'll take what I can get. Good. Now, this is Lawan's time, not yours. Step back and shut up. Everybody, get your asses up to the roof. Much better place for a ceremony than a fucking bar. Oh, yeah! Today I am forged in you, to serve a cause greater than myself. Today I am forged anew, to serve a cause greater than myself. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the light in the darkness. I shall be the light in the darkness. This is my sacrifice. This is my sacrifice. This is my pledge. This is my pledge. As a night runner. As a night runner. Out of the job. I'm gonna make you proud. You already have, and I say that calls for celebration. Everyone. Back down to the bar. Aiden, the GRE doctor I told you about. It's Veronica Ryan. She lives in Old Villador. Are you kidding me? What? Well, she's one of the first people I met here. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. I guess I managed to avoid pissing her off during my booze hound days, because I convinced her to help you. Can we talk before you leave, Aiden? Uh, sure, yeah. Mm, I seem serious. Talk to you later, kid. Good luck. So, congratulations. Sorry for avoiding you. I just... You know what they say. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Yeah. That's a pilgrim saying. Neither of us need to worry anymore. So you're officially a night runner. How's that feel? <laughs> so strange. For so long, it was just Frank. And the night runners were just a ghost story of his. Now, we're like a fucking Insta family. Even Hack on, for fuck's sake, can you believe it? Yeah, having Hack on back must be weird. <laughs> Tell me about it. Spent so much time wanting to kill him. But maybe, you know, maybe I never did because I never really wanted to. Maybe all I ever wanted was to stop hurting. Well, um, are you hurting now? Not really. Itchy, maybe. Like, when an infection's healing. But I'm not in pain for the first time in... I don't know how long. Luan, I... I was worried. Here it comes. When you left, after... Um, after your place, I... Hack-ons in my place. <laughs> yeah, I can say that now. If I can say that, then it proves that you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. You heard, Frank. It's a new day. A new Night Runners. A new me. Yeah, I don't know. I like the old you just fine, night runner or not. <laughs> Such sweet words, Aiden. Are you that drunk already? I guess I better quit while I'm ahead. Look, I'm sorry I bailed on you. I was just... No, it's okay. It, it was really none of my business. But I made it your business when I took you there. <laughs> Maybe I did it on purpose. On purpose? You've made me and Frank... All this, your business. And look how much all of us have gained. Maybe I... I wanted you to know. But I was too chicken shit to come out and tell you so. And so, we went shoe shopping. <laughs> right. Those fucking shoes. They look good on you. Okay. I've... I gotta go. I... To look for your sister, right? Sometimes I... Envy her. Envy her? How? That... she means so much... to someone. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm talking bullshit. 
No, no, you're not, uh... Just shut up. Thank you. Frank, got something for you, Aiden. Yes. No one. They're waiting for you downstairs. I'm coming, Hakon. Fuck. You... Go do your thing, Aiden. And good luck. Right now, I think I just gotta do my thing. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Eh, hey, kid? Uh, Frank found that doctor you were looking for. Veronica Ryan. Seems she used to work for the GRE. <laughs> and I thought I knew everything about the women in this city. You can probably find her somewhere around the church. I have more to tell you, Luan. Have you seen Luan? There's still some booze left, I'm sure. Well, I think there is. No, listen, I I'm looking for Luan. But she was with you, on the roof. And then she left and came here. Here? Here, yes, Jesus. Have you seen her or not? Yeah. Oh, you have? When? Did she leave? I saw her with you, on the roof. Yes, I... I know that. Yes. Uh, okay. Never mind. Enjoy the party. Hey, you too, Aiden. Did you hear? They're having a tournament at Carnage Hall. Hakon. Aiden, what did you say to her? What did you do? Wait, what? Why? She was quite... Uh, well, let's just say she was in no mood for celebration. I tried following her, but you know her, Aiden. If she doesn't let you, you won't ever find her. Come on, tell me. God, I hear PK after them. The in the BNC town. Maybe they're not the killers you think they are. Yeah, they sure they are. Those videos do have a call. Frank, have you seen Luan? Did she leave? Yeah, uh, that was strange. She seemed upset. Did she say anything? Where, where was she going? No, sorry. No clue. Uh, she's a night runner now, you know. It's a big deal. Uh, she's not here, so she probably went back to her place. How you doing, pal? First tournament in three years. They'll attract the toughest fighters in the city. Sometimes I stay out too long and I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. And a horrible fear overwhelms me. Take all the time you need, Luan. Just come back soon. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. Then I see the goddamn UV lights.
life and death. Accept this child into thy realm. A child which, according to your mysterious plan, you have taken from us to protect her in your bosom. May your heavenly domain prevent him from knowing hunger, cold, or pain. May he spend eternal life in the ultimate truth. We bid you farewell, Slavko Sedenik. Husband, father, and friend. I heard Frank's message to the Night Runners on the Free People's Radio. I didn't know you were still out there. I didn't know you were still out there. How you doing, Aiden? What's going on in the world, huh? Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? How's life? Better? Now that the PK finally stopped bothering us. I'm even thinking of starting my own business. I know a bit about weapon design. I could start making and selling them. Sounds good. And, uh, how's Sophie doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's major news. She's the big boss now. <laughs> I'm sure she is. After all that happened, folks finally realized we needed a real leader. I'd say things have turned out the way they always should have been. Well, good for her. And for all of old Villador. I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in old Villador. At first, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just asked for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End, Courtesan Rose Street. But you didn't hear it from me. And you? Why are you here and not with Vincenzo and the rest? I wanted to be, but Sophie talked me out of it. Said something about not wanting them to have to deal with my attitude. What attitude, for fuck's sake? I have no idea. Okay, thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. Sometimes I wake up Why and I forget the fall even there? happened. That's about the only time I smile. 